What's up everybody, this is Mike and today I'm part of a very different project. I'm helping some friends out and today we're filming a music video on a very very interesting location and I thought I would like to share this experience with you. So with that being said, we have just arrived on this amazing location. I'm just going to um, roll some footage so you can see where I'm at and then uh, I'll talk you through what the procedure is to film a music video. I'm really interested. This is my first time ever being on set. So um, I'm excited. Let's go. So this location that we're filming at is a very famous Bulgarian landmark called Tsarevets and it's an old fort which was used between 1185 and 1393. It's known for its amazing night shows, reenacting scenes from wars and it's a historical landmark which is just perfect to shoot. This was actually the last filming location for this music video and it only required a team of dancers, the artist which performed the song was not there. So we had a team of six dancers, a videographer and me as a drone pilot. We had to shoot a couple of dance scenes both from the ground and from the air and overall it was a lot more difficult than just filming regular shots by yourself. As the fort is situated quite high above ground level there was a lot of wind when we arrived and when I started filming with the drone some shots were a bit jerkier than I would have preferred due to the strong wind but generally I'm quite happy with how the Mavic Air held up. So just finished filming with my second battery and I have to say this place is so so amazing. I would need 10 batteries to be completely satisfied with all the shots that I want to take. Anyway, we're still on set. It's quite interesting to see how actually things are uh, happening and how people are working together. Um, it's a small team, not something that is extremely professional, but I really like to be a part of it. And so far I'm having lots and lots of fun. So that's what matters. One key thing that I can take away from this experience is how well organized everyone has to be in order to be efficient and finish the job properly. Luckily, our team was great at that and we managed to film everything we needed in just two hours. Being on set turned out to be a lot of fun and it's something I can definitely recommend to everyone even if it's not professional. You can always gather some of your friends and shoot something together. The feeling of being part of a big project is so much worth it. And here is the other thing I particularly enjoyed. Filming an action scene or a scene where something is happening and constantly moving is so much harder than regular drone shots of the nature around you for example and if you screw things up you have to start over and do it many times if needed but they're also so much more rewarding and you if you nail the shot you have a winner. I used all three of my batteries for the shoot but in a perfect world I would have needed maybe five or six batteries in total just so I can capture all of the footage that I wanted to. This is because there are a lot of factors that you don't think of beforehand but once you start shooting you see that there is a lot of hovering and waiting for everyone to get ready. Sometimes you need to repeat the shot until it gets perfect. Sometimes somebody messes something up and you need to start over and generally you need to be prepared with a lot more power. So uh, next time when I need my drone for something like this I would definitely need to bring a lot more batteries maybe a couple more. Uh, so keep this in mind. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's behind the scenes look of shooting a music video. Personally, I had lots and lots of fun and I really hope this video will encourage you to try something similar on your own. With that being said, I'm going to roll some drone shots right now. I really hope you like them. Drop a like to show some support. Subscribe if you don't want to miss any of my future videos and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Ciao!